Hi guys, today we're going to make birthday cake lip gloss. So first you want to grab your lip gloss base and you want to sift it around a little bit. You can purchase your base at Bougie Besties Beauty. Um, an 8 ounce jar is $25 and it's a very good base. Not too thick or not too thin. Next you want to grab your vitamin E oil. You want to grab your grapeseed oil or oil of choice. And lastly, you want to add castor oil to give it that extra shine. You want to grab your sprinkles. You want to grab your flavoring oil, which in our case is birthday cake. You want to grab your 60 milliliter syringe. You want to grab your pipettes. And, your, and a pair of scissors. You want to make sure you have your tubes. And we're also going to try them with the wand tube to see the difference. Also gloves, very important. Make sure you put gloves on and a mask. And you clean in your area and you have your spoon. So let's get to making it. So first you want to open your jar, you want to pour it inside of your bowl, then you want to start to stir it. Make sure you are stirring it really good. And this is before we add any oil, so we just want to kind of stir it a little bit. Make sure we mix in it, so we can get a good consistency. Next we're going to start with our vitamin E oil. And I like to add about a good two to three um, drops. Now you want to stir it up really good. Making sure you remove any air. Making sure you get a good consistency. Because we're going to add each oil individually. Start. Next, we want to come in with our grapeseed oil or oil of choice. I like to take it and put it inside the cap. And then use my pipette tool to use it like a dropper to put the oil in. So I grab the pipette, suction up the oil, and I add my drops. And I added about five drops. Then I pull the remaining inside and close it up. Then I like to stir it because we're going to bring each oil in individually. So we want to make sure that the oils blend well so it's not too runny or too thick. Lastly, we're going to add our castor oil. And this castor oil gives it a huge shine. Castor oil is very good for your skin. So we're going to add about three drops. Just so we can have that, that natural shine. To our lip gloss. Then we're going to mix it really good. And making sure you scoop in the sides too, so in case any extra oil is trapped on the sides. Then we're going to mix. And then I'm lifting it so I can test the consistency to make sure it's the consistency that I like. Which is not too thin, not too thick, which is just perfect. 
And then we're going to grab our flavoring oil, which is birthday cake. And we're going to add about four to five drops of that so that when they open it, it smells really good. And that was a food flavoring oil, so it's all natural. It's from Lorenz Oils, which is one of my favorites to use. So we're going to mix and make sure that the consistency is what we want. And we're blending the flavoring with the oils with the base. And I'm lifting it so that I can make sure that it blends well. Then lastly, we're going to add our sprinkles, which is the fun part. So I kind of got a little sprinkle happy because I like sprinkles. And you can add as much as you want or as le less as you want. Depends upon your preference. But I like mine to be, you know, colorful and fun. And then you want to stir it. Stirring it really good. Make sure you get getting your sides so that if you have any traps, so they won't bunch up. Look how pretty that is. making me excited already so you want to stir until it's all together okay so once you're finished you want to open up your 60 milliliter syringe and that's what we're going to be using to fill up our tubes. Make sure you remind members to remove the cap. Then you want to grab your pipette because you're going to have to cut the tip of your pipette. That's why we grabbed our scissors, so we're going to cut the tip of the pipette. Then we're going to cut the other end of the pipette as well, so that we can apply it onto our 60 milliliter syringe. So you take your pipette and you put it on the tip of your 60 milliliter syringe. And you make sure you tighten it as best as you can. I twist it, so that way it don't fall off. Now we are ready to fill. So you want to pull up the stopper. And take it out. Sit it down. Then you want to grab your spoon and you want to take just a little bit of your lip gloss. And you want to put it inside of your syringe. And you want to fill this up. I like to use the edge of the spoon as a way to like push it in. And as you fill it, it'll slide straight on down. And I like to shake it also. So then you want to take your stopper you want to push it straight in but make sure you're pushing it over your bowl because see how it's coming out it's going to come out and once you push it a little bit and you get that pressure out then you're ready to go then we're ready to fill our tube so you want to grab one of your squeeze tubes and you want to stick your syringe inside at the bottom starting from the bottom make sure you got a good steady hand and then you want to Start to fill left to right, straight across, and then pull up as you're filling. 
so that you can remove as many of the air bubbles as possible. All right, that one's done. You can remove any excess fishy fingers. Again, you wanna. Again, you wanna go to the end, and you wanna just pull it up slowly. Again, you wanna pull up slowly so that you can remove any air bubbles. And as you can see from the video, this is a good lesson. Sometimes the sprinkles will get trapped at the tip of your pipe back. So I'm gonna show you how you can fix this. What you do is, all you have to do is take the stopper and you pull it back some, which causes it to come out. And then you start all over again. There you go. Good as new. And you wanna fill till you get to the top. Now we're going to open it again so that we can add some more of our lip gloss because we're going to do our wand tubes next. So you can always just keep filling as you go. Remember you can use the spoon as like a guide so they don't spill everywhere. Then you want to apply your stopper again. Make sure you have it over the bowl. You want to push to remove any air. Then you want to grab your wand tube. You want to open it. You want to stick your syringe straight down your wand tube. Then you want to pull, slowly pulling up so that you don't have no air bubbles. And you want to stop because you don't want to overfill. So because if you overfill, you won't be able to get your stopper in. So you want to get your stopper, which is going to help for when your customer or you go to put the lip gloss in it. So it don't like spill everywhere. So we got our stopper and you want to push down. So you want to hold it and then I like to use my thumb. Push it right in place. And you want to take your wand and you want to insert it and twist. Look how pretty that is. I love them in a wand. It's my favorite in wand. You know, again, we want to slowly push, but remember pulling your hand back as you're coming up with the flow of the gloss. And you want to stop. You want to get your stopper. You want to push it down with your thumb. You want to add your wand in and twist. Super cute. We're going to do one more. Pull it slowly up. We got our stopper.
push your stoppers in. Then put your wand in. And we're done. Now let's look how they look together. Super cute. Oh, they look so good in my wands. Now for the squeeze tubes, we have to add the tips and the caps. So let's put the tips in. Make sure you twist your cap on. Super cute. Now you're adding your tip and our cap. And look how cute they look. Look how cute they look. I love them in squeeze tubes also. And now we have birthday cake lip gloss. Which is super cute and fun and perfect for kids, adults, for everyone. Now I like to take the last little bit of gloss and I like to squeeze it back into my bowl so that I can uh, wrap my bowl up and store it for next use. We don't like the waste over here. Thanks so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Stay bougie.